Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SSIS in SQL Server 2014. If you have done installation in SQL Server 2008, 2012, if you have installed SSIS, this installation is not going to be any different. So let's get to the installation piece. Double click on setup. Click on installation, click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing uh, installation. One thing I wanted to mention here, um, SSIS is not clusterware still. So uh, if you, I wouldn't recommend installing SSIS when you're install, uh, do, uh, doing installation of a SQL Server uh, in cluster mode. Uh, you can make SSIS uh, clusterware, but uh, it's rather complex uh, and I don't recommend it either. Click next. Next. It's going to go through some set of files. Click next. I'm going to use existing SQL Server 2012 that I already installed the instance up here, the Tech Brothers SQL instance. As you can see that uh, there are already features uh, that, that I have installed, but I'm going to go down in shared features and find integration services. Click on that. Click next. This is the account that uh, uh, SSIS services are going to run under. You can change this account to a service account later on. There are a couple of ways to do it. But uh, since I'm not uh, connected with any domain, so I'm going to keep it default. Click next. This is the uh, features summary. You can also look at it later on right here on this location. Click install. Installation is going to take uh, a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to pause the video. Once the installation is completed, I'll come back to it. Through SQL Server Configuration Manager and see if the services are running. You can also go into the services.msc and see if the services are running, but I always recommend going through the SQL Server Configuration Manager. So close that. I'm going to go in Programs and find SQL Server Configuration Manager, which is right here. Click on that. If you see SQL Server Integration Services 12.0 running, and this is the account I was talking about, that the services are running in uh, under this account. You can change this account with the service account. Uh, usually, in any organization, you have a, a separate service account that runs uh, such services: uh, integration services, reporting services, and database engine services. So you have to have a password for that, anyhow. But you can change it. So that that's it for the uh, for the installation of uh, SSIS. Uh, as I said, that is not much different from uh, 2008 or 2012. So I hope this uh, video helps.